Before you throw shit at me for defending this game, and titling my video In Defense of Dark Souls 2, I'll point out that I'm not defending H. Bomber Guy's video, and I've watched Malo's videos about this. The main reason I'm talking about this is because I'm a fan of the Souls series, and that includes every game in the series, including Dark Souls 2. And due to the amount of hate it receives, anger isn't the main emotion this gives me, it's actually pain. It offends me. I've heard one person claim that the Souls community isn't toxic, and that its people are very laid back and friendly. However, after everything I've witnessed in it throughout the years, I will very openly point out that all of that is a lie. The Souls community is very toxic. All due to the very existence of Dark Souls 2. The people in the community are proud gamers, who make fun of the game, and those who like it, all while superiorizing every other game in the series and viewing creator Miyazaki as a godlike figure. I can't help but view these people as video game supremacists, as they've made themselves look like total morons in the community. And just a heads up, I bet a good amount of you are subscribed to Molo. Just so you know, his video is titled In Defense of Dark Souls 2 for a reason. He really is defending it. He wasn't even criticizing it. He was just pointing out its flaws with a sense of humor. And what baffles me is that most people consider it a hate video towards the game, and therefore treat it like one. It's clear to see that these people didn't even watch the whole video, and instead skipped through it and therefore, everything they're hearing sounds negative to them. Maybe that's because you didn't watch what led up to that point. Mauler has stated multiple times in his video that he really liked Dark Souls 2. And another thing? Mauler is subscribed to H Bomber Guy. So when he made his response series towards his video, he was pretty much fed up with the amount of criticism Harris was receiving and wanted to put an end to it by responding to every single thing Harris said in his video. It worked for his subscribers, and those who watched his entire video, as well as his other videos in his measured response series, but those who didn't watch his whole video, and instead skipped through it, just continue to mock Harris to this very day. Because to these people, they think you were roasting H. Bomber Guy, and my god, that wasn't the case. Now about the toxicity in the Souls community, it's totally fine not to like Dark Souls 2. But most of these people don't accept opinions, and argue with those who do like it. Most of these people call Dark Souls 2 the quote-unquote worst installment in the series. Now, I'd like to confirm that's so not true, and when I say that, I'm not calling it the best, and I'm not calling the others bad. But the word worst means bad. When you're calling something the worst, you're basically saying it's bad. Dark Souls 2 is in no way bad. If you think it's bad, that's just your opinion, but I don't understand why the entire public needs to know this. Apparently, those who are fans of Dark Souls 2 are known as fanboys, and literally, the Souls community is totalitarian, as literally no one's allowed to like Dark Souls 2, otherwise will be deemed fanboys and get mocked by haters of the game. Basically, the Souls games are made into a pyramid. Every Miyazaki title are placed at the top, while Dark Souls 2 remains at the bottom, which is just so not fair. And, an and another thing, whenever people praise Dark Souls 2, they'll just receive a lot of backlash. But whenever someone bashes the game, they just receive so much praise and attention. What the fuck? A good example of this is in Dimitri Monroe's video, stating that Dark Souls 2 still sucks as his entire comment section has become a hub for hating the game. 
It receives some of the most hateful comments towards the game on YouTube. And before you accuse me of skipping an important comment from this video, I'll just go ahead and show it. Apparently, Mollo decided to leave a comment on this video. And that isn't a bad thing. Just so you know, this comment isn't in support of bashing the game. He's not praising Dimitri for making this video. He just accepts and tolerates it. And that is a very appropriate thing to do. And just so you know, I'm assuming a lot of you are subscribed to Mauler, and if you think he approves of this type of behavior, absolutely not. This type of behavior is against him. He stated multiple times throughout his video that he really enjoyed Dark Souls 2. He just tolerates this type of behavior. That doesn't mean in any way that he supports it. To be honest, I think the biggest thing Mauler wouldn't appreciate is the fact that a lot of people continue to harass Harris to this very day. And yes, I will bring attention to this, because I in no way approve of this. Another video that's become a hub for hating the game is a video focusing on the quote-unquote bad hitboxes. This video is probably the biggest example people use to hate the game. They watch it without even playing the game, share it, and tell people not to play it. Before I dive into this video's comments, I'd like to point out that the hitbox issue is fixable, and even Molo has talked about how to fix it in his video. All you have to do is level up your ADP, and then dodging will be twice as smooth than in the first game. And when I say this, I'm not saying the first game's rolling is bad, it's always been smooth. But literally, in 2, rolling will become very smooth if you do just that. Now, into the shithole. Just like Dimitri Monroe's video, this video's comment section has people talking shit about Dark Souls 2, and even its adaptability stat. And whenever people in these comments try to defend the game, and point out how to fix the issue, they just get mistreated by everyone. But perhaps the comment that appalls me the most here is this one. Apparently, we have people wishing harm on the developers. And people just normalize this. I never would have imagined human beings who grew up going to school and being told by parents what's right and wrong would think this type of behavior is okay. I just can't. Let's not forget this guy from Korra, who shit-talked the game in the most derogatory way possible, and openly tells people not to play Dark Souls 2, and telling people to watch videos criticizing it instead. Apparently, the title Dark Souls sounds so epic and beautiful, but apparently, if you add 2 to the title, it sounds like a joke. That's what the toxic people think. It's just so not fair. Dark Souls 2 easily feels the most innocent out of all the games, due to the amount of abuse and exclusion it receives. I don't care if it's justified, let people enjoy it without feeling pressured. If you don't like it, that's your opinion. But keep it to yourself. Why does the public need to know this? And why do you support comments talking shit about the game? The thing I should really point out is that ever since COVID hit, DS2's bashing became worse than ever. Bashing the game is clearly a personal hobby these people do. For those who still believe your so-called god Miyazaki had nothing to do with Dark Souls 2, he didn't direct it, but he served as supervisor of the game, meaning he oversaw everything. And if the game was released the way it was, then that means he was happy with it. To create memes slandering Yui Tanimura, there's nothing at all funny about that. Giving him and us fans this hell makes you look like a villain. What happened to the days where people were polite and cared about those around them? Dark Souls 2 is arguably the prettiest game in the series. It has the best-looking visuals. 
I understand its graphics were originally supposed to look different, but I actually prefer the final graphics we were given. I think they changed the graphics because they were blown away by its scenery. And how the hell is that a bad thing? Just so you know, if Dark Souls 2 is so bad, then why did it receive universal acclaim? Yeah, here's the true fact that the game really is great. The main reason most of the criticism is so damn excruciating is because most people who do so don't add eyes to those sentences, making them sound like they think they're pointing out facts and want everyone else to agree with them. If you think I'm calling Dark Souls 2 flawless, absolutely not. I am more than aware of its flaws. I just accept them, as do I with every other installment. But to call the rest of the games flawless makes you look clueless. Remember the bed of chaos? And keep in mind that this is coming from someone who also thinks the first Dark Souls is the best installment in the series. But at the end of the day, Dark Souls 1 has flaws, Dark Souls 3 has flaws, Bloodborne has flaws, Demon Souls has flaws, and even Elden Ring has flaws. I hope that helped. Mahler called Dark Souls 1 a masterpiece with flaws, and that, I think, is a much more appropriate way to describe it. And he called Dark Souls 2 a disaster with highlights, and anyone who thinks that can definitely have a blast playing it, as did Mahler, who stated he enjoyed his playthrough and was willing to play it again. I'm not making any of this up. I've watched his entire video, and I remember everything he said. He's a professional YouTuber. He knows how to make sense and how not to piss people off. I don't understand at all why 2021 and 22 became years to abuse the game more than ever. Why? And why is it still happening in 2022? There's been a spike in 0 to 1 star reviews as well. And why do the reviews have to be so damn hateful? You had to have had some fun with it. Was 2014 really a shitty year for you? Since that's when this game came out? Like I've said, it's totally okay not to like the game. But downright bashing it and telling people not to play it is going way too far. Let people enjoy it without you telling them it's the worst Souls game. And as a result of the amount of people who get told this, it remains the quote-unquote black sheep. And it just gets ignored entirely. For instance, whenever people livestream themselves playing Dark Souls, it always has to be either Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 3. And a rather famous YouTuber makes boundary break videos for every game in the series except Dark Souls 2. Please accept opinions, and please leave us fans alone. I made this video because I could no longer stand the bashing I keep seeing. I want nothing to do with these users, for I know they want nothing more than to give us so-called fanboys absolute hell. Please let me enjoy every game in this series without feeling like I'm only allowed to play certain titles. I was totally blown away when I played every Soulsborne game for the first time. I was super hyped fighting their bosses. I was totally absorbed into their worlds. And I was brought to heaven listening to their music. And I, more than anything else, want to be able to experience these moments again. Without people telling me what I can't and can't like. You have no idea how much I, this hurts. I don't care how many times you beat every other game except two. I don't care. Leave me alone. I want to feel free again. Please let me enjoy every game in this series. Please. I... I'm, I'm done here.